electrical tape over here. Thank you. Just Taking off all the insulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta take it off of both. Jeez. Both return. Both return lines. Um, you have the return line on the right side that comes from the cooling shelf, and then the return line goes back behind the e-valve oh. up to the top. That's for the coil up in the top. So I'm just removing everything. Uh, this temperature sensor goes down here. Um, that's the, the where the return lines come together. And uh, <coughs> you also have the bulbs uh, that are taped and zip tied in place from your assembly here. There's little capillary tubes running to those. Feel free to destroy them as much as you like because it doesn't matter anymore. They're not working well anyway. Okay. You clear the pipes. Um, Uh, and mind which one goes where. You find that the uh, the TXV on the on the back goes to the one on the right. The one in front goes to the one on the left. We'll look at the locations more when we <coughs> start cutting stuff apart. Yeah, I just gotta get this sucker open. Don't wrap your insulation with electrical tape. Don't! Now you will not do anything, but it'll maybe rule it, perhaps. It's just a mess. Electrical tape is sticky. Stupid. And it makes my life more difficult. It's all sticky. Alright, this will be easier when the eval is out of the way. So my motto is always, uh, if it's in the way, move it. Now we're replacing the e-valve anyway, and it's currently in my way. So what do we do, kids? Move it out of the way. <laughs> Come on. Don't it's use electrical tape. Don't do it. Do it. My word. This guy must have unstock and freaking scotch tape or something. Oh, well, he's got a zip tie on. Learn to hate other technicians. <laughs> First one, Bacham. Hey, 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 we're doing a professional video here, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, like I said, Slinky. Mangle away. Just put that in 3D. Mm. Alright, now, um, let's grab that email assembly and pop it on the heat. Yeah. So you can see what comes in it. You can see what we can replace and what we cannot. So things that come with the kit. A new e valve assembly. Popcorn. Yeah, we get oh come on. Just let's, let's put that out. <laughs> uh, it comes with the new e valve assembly. It comes with this tube here, a new filter dryer. It does not come with this tube here, so we have to save that one or fab up a new one. I like to reuse it because uh, it's metric copper, and if I fab up a new one, I gotta use a new T, and I gotta, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off from here, and I'm gonna take it off from here, so this and this comes off as an assembly. Well, Clean up like, your mess. Can I please off? That's why I'm sending it. Get it out of the way. Oh, we'll get to that later, I guess. I'll start taking it apart. Messy, messy, messy. Messy, messy. Hey, they're all messy. 
Never start that in somebody's face. It's blinding. Don't try to be smart about where you're positioning your flame so you're not going to melt anything or burn wires, anything like that. Apply steady, even pressure away from the joint that you're trying to separate it from. This one I can just grab onto. But you don't want to grab onto the fuse when you're removing it, obviously, because it's going to get really hot. This one has enough beef to it where I can, I can grab it anyway. You can even give it a little, a little like slight twisting motion, and once it starts to move, you know you can start pulling. Mm. Oh, oh my! Oh, that break! Oh wow! Well, good thing we're getting new pieces of those. So, as you can see, the guy that did the job last uh, overheated his pipe, and you see, it's just like crumbled. Yeah, it crumbled. And then, you know, you can, we're going to remove this. So I just kind of let it dangle. Well, I heat up the joint. And the, uh, it should just plop off. Wow, dude. There you go. Alright, we're gonna pop this guy up. Get the drag. Jeez, it's gonna do it again. The sofas isn't melting. The the pipe <laughs> there we go. It's like the pipe was gonna melt before the, the sofa was. Okay, now this is a special portion here. This one has been repri uh, replaced before, uh, so it's a little bit different. But when you have the stock one in place, what you're going to do to remove your e-valve assembly, you have the two, the two tubes here going up into your box. Uh, there's a joint here, looks like there's a joint here. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, what you'll do is you'll cut your tube. I'm just going to do it on this one even though I don't think it's necessary. You're going to cut your tube below that solder joint, like well below it. Um, so that way you can just separate the entire thing, you know, to the, you know, drop it out to the right. Um, like this. Yeah, because there's, there'll be a, a decent amount of tube. Because when they do this from factory, uh, they have the the tubes from the e-valve assembly full length so there'll be quite a bit of tube inside of the other tube mm -hmm. so you can't just solder it and, and drop it down because the coil is going to be in your way so you got to cut it below that joint and slide it out of the way Ugh. some thick copper Yeah, I good thing we removed that little panel, huh? <laughs> okay, that one is good. Swap it over to the other side. Like I said, you take it off well below. And you don't want to tighten it too much at once, or you'll break your blade. I'll typically be working where you're filming, but I figured I'd let you get a shot. <laughs> there we go. So that way, all you need to do is slide it to the right and drop it out. I have too much fun with these.
And there is your old eval assembly. Again, you can see the water damage from when ice built up on the uh, inside and then just expanded expanded this the plane and then it melted and dried and melted and dried. And it's garbage. Can I see that?